Testing, testing, honey. I know that's right. I like this. I like this. Yeah. Sugar baby, sugar baby. Nice whip, nice crib, nice. Crib. I want this. I want I that. Want he give it to me. Hey, hey, what's pop lock and dropping, honeys? It's your girl Malaysia. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to be a part of my roster and become a honey, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I upload very regularly. And girl, you know, when you a honey, you get what you want. Today is a good day. I just got back from Hawaii a couple days ago. The day I got back, I got settled in. The next day, I did all my chores, you know, did my nails, painted my toes, you know, all that nice stuff. Today, I have to get back to work. So I have to finish a couple orders, but I am sold out of most of the stuff at my boutique. I'm also going to be converting my office into my massage room. I moved out here around August, at the beginning of August, and I'm not gonna be in this space, this space for much longer. I'm going to go ahead and convert it and start back up on my massages, getting my massage clients out here in Dallas because I was traveling a lot. I am kickstarting up my massage business out here in Dallas. Once I move out in August, I'll be downsizing to a one bedroom with a studio, and then I will be getting a office space for my massage business. I am licensed. I am also going back to school to get more certifications in massage therapy, and I'm also getting my esthetician's license for my skincare line. That way, when I have my office, I can have all of my degrees up on the wall, and you know, honey, I'm certified. So come with me as I convert this room into my massage room. All right, so this is what my office looks like right now. As I was out of town, my dog sneaked up in here and peed on the floor. They shit in here. There's dog toys in here. It's just a whole lot. So I'm actually gonna go through here and organize everything, put some stuff up in my inventory closet, and I'm just gonna go ahead and completely convert this room so that way I can work this weekend. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is get my damn dog toys, their dog toys out of here. I have some orders that I have to print out, but I'm gonna do that here later. Get out, Cairo. Big ass trash bag. Alright, so I just went ahead and grabbed this trash bag that's already almost empty. I need water. I'm running on fumes right now. Hold up. Now, if you ain't know, which I'm sure you didn't know, I'm getting a BBL, so excuse my little pudge, honey. Mm. Ooh, baby. First thing I'm going to do is get all the trash in this bag. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I just know that I ordered me some massage stuff to come in the mail and I gotta get this room together because I'm working this weekend and all month. My goal is $30,000 in a month, so. And I can do that, fuck. Yes, this is Malaysia with the massage business. I never told you to give my number out to anybody. You've given my, you've given my number out twice already. I'm going to be leaving a review on your page that you're giving out numbers. So quit giving my number out to your friends. I went and got my massage table fixed. That does not mean that you can go give your friends all, all your friends my number and talk about she gives massages. Now they all on my motherfucking phone. And then they're annoying. I don't respond, they keep texting me. So now I have to block them. Block them and somebody else hit me up. Do you give massages and they won't leave me alone. Gotta block them. So now I gotta get on your ass because I don't know when the fuck I told you to give my motherfucking number out. Isn't really cool because it's so wide. I'm gonna have to just move this in here somehow. Papa, help me, Papa! Help me, Papa, help me! Help me! What should I do, Papa? 
What should I do? Put it here, put it there, put it there, put it there, put it there, put it there. What should I do, Papa? You don't fucking know. Get out, get out, get out. I'm not even gonna think about it right now because I need all this out of the way. That way I could actually move the table around and figure out what I wanna do. I need to unplug everything. I can easily move everything. So I'm gonna move everything to this room real quick. tablecloth now just like you haters y'all my tablecloth what you talk about what you talk about all right so now i'm actually just gonna go ahead and shove all this on the floor and vacuum it up Set everything up. I got a vacuum, carpet clean. Now I need to figure out where I'm gonna put my table at. So let me figure this out real quick. here sitting like this I need to have my facial steamer sitting I want my facial steamer sitting at the top I could put this up against the wall put my facial steamer on that one and try to get this sturdy and maybe my towel warmer. No, towel warmer cannot be on that as well. Because I might leave that for my towel warmer to be on. I don't want to leave that there and move it back diagonal. You just have to see how it works, okay. I kind of like this area though. Because then what would I do with all this stuff? I like that though. <clears throat> I want to get this. Oh, my nails coming up again. It's so fucking annoying. 
Get press ons, they said. Because I want this to be in here. Okay, so this is going to go up against the wall because I need it to, so that way they can leave their faces in it. Something I've been wanting to hang up for a while. I've been wanting to hang this thing. I bought this because when I was when my business was booming, I wanted to buy more. I needed more table space, so I was gonna put some things on this and have it up. So what I think that's definitely not gonna fit there. I think I'm still. I'm gonna see if my boyfriend can put this up for me. Just gonna figure out where I want it. And on this, I'll put some things. Just not sure where yet. So I'll figure that out in a little bit. So let me go ahead and get this floor cleaned up. Now that I know where my table's gonna be. I'm going to go over all of my massage equipment, what I have, why I have it, and things like that. Cause I know people be asking me hella questions about why do I have ties? Why do I have whips? Why do I have handcuffs? Well, why do you think I make so much money? because that's where my table used to be. That's how my carpet's supposed to look. I still have a little bit of juice in my carpet shampooer. This is water with arm, um, arms and hammers, detergent in it. I like using detergent that gets stains out because I've just noticed for my carpet shampooer, I've just noticed that it really works. It gets the stains out. And then it also smells really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the carpet real quick so I can get all these stains and get it refreshed up in here so I can really start decorating. And I'm actually going to leave my, I'm going to leave this right here because I'm gonna use it eventually. So let's see if this carpet shampoo will work. Well, I mean, not the carpet shampoo. I bought this from the Dollar Tree. I know I like the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has a lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna spray this little area here. And if it works, then I'll show y'all. But for right now, honey. So this is the carpet. It came out pretty good considering what it used to look like. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish decorating, honey. Yeah, so I'm hanging up this shelf now so I can have more space. I was gonna let my boyfriend do it for me, but I'm actually gonna just do it myself.
three. Cool. So on the top of this, I'm going to put my hot rocks. Here. I'm actually going to need an extension cord here because I feel like I'm going to lay a couple things here, but I'm not sure yet. But my hot rocks will be here. I think I'm also going to put my towel warmer. I need my towel warmer to be here because I need my oil warmer to be as close to my clients as possible. That way I don't be dripping oil everywhere. So I'm actually going to put my oil warmer there. I also strongly recommend for all my ladies out there to get you a toolbox. I have me a toolbox. This is this one has just the tools in it, and then I have one with my nails and everything. But I think every woman should have her own toolbox. And you already know I got my toolbox from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I got this from the Dollar Tree, but of course all my tools I got from like Walmart and stuff. So over here, I'm gonna go buy some gold spray paint so I can finish spraying this so it will be fully painted but this crock pot is gonna go here with my this is gonna be where my oil is at and i have an extension cord this extension cord is gonna go here because this crock pot is not the cord is not long enough it's plugged into it so crock pot here i also got some lights that i ordered i'm gonna go on this wall here and this wall i ordered two of them so I kind of want it to be a whole experience. So I'm more than likely gonna have, I may order some more leaves because I kind of want to just go ahead and do all of the walls, but I may not. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do the lights here. I want the lights to be here on this wall and I ordered two of them. I don't even know why now. I may just go ahead and cover the whole, but I think just the one is good with the lights. I don't know why I ordered two. Because these walls are covered. I don't need nothing there. This is in my restroom, but I think we're gonna put it here. That way it gives it a nice little feel. So just like that. Things, I wanna see if they look good in this. Probably don't. It doesn't hurt to try. I don't know why I bought these things. Cause I have that, the pink ones there. And I just thought this was, it'd be kind of like cute like them. Let me show y'all. These pink ones here and I just feel like it gave it such a cute little you know like it gave it gives it a cute little flare. I thought that one would be cute too but no honey that's not how it works at all. This one is cute though. I like that one so this is just not gonna work anywhere. I wish they had it to where it stands up. If it stood up I might be able to get it to work but whatever. ordered some covers for my mat. That way every time I have a client come in, I can have new sheets down. And I ordered some from the head too. So all I need, and I have my oil drippers here. This has been sitting here for like a couple days, not a couple days, since I last went out of town for my massage trips. This has been sitting there, honey. And I'm gonna get some new oil and all of that. But I just wanna show y'all what I do. So I ordered some pipettes. Well, I've been had pipettes. I got all of these pipettes from my lip gloss business that I used to have and I just never threw them away, thank goodness, because now these pipettes come in handy. I'm going to be using my pipettes to get the oil out of the oil warmer and put it on my client because the oil will be warm and it is so warm sometimes that my hands just, it's, it's too hot for my hands and my hands should not be in my oil anyway because that's unsanitary. So I'll be using my pipettes for my clients and you know, to keep everything nice, clean, 
and sanitary. I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep them in this thing because it just works that way. And I need to buy some new oil. I wanted a smaller one. I wanted it to be small and long, like small and big, the little ones, but they were all sold out and I should've just got it off Amazon, but that's okay because now I just have more oil. I think I'm gonna keep my money bag in here too. I like to have this money bag just to remind them, you know, tippy girl. And I have these tip boxes, but I'm actually gonna go get new ones because those tip boxes are just ugly. These were my old tip boxes. One of them has an E on it and the other one has a C on it because I used to get money with one of my homegirls. We both used to do massages together. So I made us both tip boxes so they could be out. But of course, these tip boxes are all ugly now and destroyed. This is what they look like. And they were cute little tip boxes. Like, you know, you can wrap your money up and put it through this little hole here. And then of course I have my little whip. Now a lot of people, um, I personally don't care what anybody thinks of me because at the end of the day, those people who have negative things to say, they are watching me. I'm not watching them. I don't know who they are. They know me, they watch me, they take time out of their day to give me their negative energy. And honey, it does nothing to me, but it does something to you. You now have all this anger inside of you towards me for absolutely no reason at all. I'm out here getting money, doing it the right way, doing it the clean way, and that's why you're here. So I really don't care what anybody has to say about me or what I do or how I go about getting my money because at the end of the day, how I take it, you just mad because you haven't figured it out and it's not happening for you. Well, I like to incorporate stuff into my massage business that helps me make money. So me personally, I've learned that with my massage business, I'm a beautiful girl and guys like beautiful girls. And not only that, they like activities, something that's gonna make it more than just a massage. You know, just inviting somebody over for a massage and having nothing but a table and some oil, you're not gonna get no money. And then also remember, trying to copy me is not gonna get you any money either. People already know who the original is. They want the original. So don't just copy me and think, okay, I'm gonna copy Malaysia and now I'm gonna go make a whole lot of money. That's not how it works. And I don't like it when girls feel like they can copy me and then come try to talk smack to me because they didn't get anything. You know, they didn't, they're not making no money. So don't just try coming to copy me, see what I'm doing and see how you could make your massage business into your own or whatever. I was a sugar baby at first and then I went from being a sugar baby to a masseuse. I started incorporating my massage business into being a sugar baby. Doing massages is a way that you can meet sugar daddies. It's a way of opening up that door, building chemistry, and then bring on the conversation of, you know, he wants to see you. He's gonna start wanting to see you more regularly and start wanting to do more, start taking you out, you know, other stuff. So doing massages for me is a great way to make, meet sugar daddies. Being a waitress is a great way to be, meet sugar daddies. A stripper, a go-go dancer, a bartender. There are many things that you can do to push yourself in front of sugar daddies. Me personally, stripping is just not something that I've ever been interested in doing, um, only because it's just like you're a waitress, but you have to wear six inch heels and dance. And then sometimes people just watching you. And that's not my thing. I don't judge strippers at all. I think we all are the same. We just all go about getting our money differently. I personally like to do the least for the most. The whip comes in handy because one, you know, when somebody walks in, they're laying down. I use this to rub on their back. It feels good. You know, you can rub it on their back, rub it up and down them. You can even smack them a little on the butt with it, smack them on the back with it very lightly. And that now turns the experience into erotic. They're now starting to get aroused. And when people are aroused, they will spend more money. And then I have the eye covers, mainly because when they turn around and I am, when they're laying on their backs and I'm, you know, caressing them with my hands and stuff, I'm very pretty and I don't like it when guys are just staring right at me. So that's why I use my eye covers. That way I could kind of blind them. They don't have to see me, but they can still feel everything that's going on. And now these handcuffs here, honestly, these handcuffs have not been used yet. 
I have not used them. The handcuffs are honestly um, just here. And a lot of people don't like getting handcuffed by a stranger. And then not even just that, not a lot of people even just like to use handcuffs, you know? But I have the handcuffs mainly because they came with the whip. <laughs> And then also, it also just brings a feel. Visuals are very important. So when they walk in, all my visuals, and you know, you see some handcuffs laying around, it brings, it brings a feel to the room. Now again, if you have anything negative to say about what I'm doing, I remind you, I do not care. You are watching me. You're jealous, clearly. I mean, if you're not jealous, and if you just don't like me because of my line of business how ignorant does that really make you seriously honey these haters will live through you not everybody not everybody has to like me and i don't care but you're here and that's all that matters i have to have a place where i put all of this stuff i don't want to hear nobody talking about my radar my mosquito spray i left my door open and not only just that i there was a spider as I was moving this stuff, a spider was there, and then I seen a mosquito. I left the door open. I remember my first video, video I had a, a, a bottle of Raid, and literally, a couple miserable girls tried to call me out, like, oh my gosh, did y'all see the bottle of Raid? Like, so basically, you've never owned Raid your entire life. You've never seen a bug or ants or a spider, like seriously? Some girls are so miserable and broke, it protrudes through them and it's just pathetic and it's lame. This is a head massager and this is a head massager. I'm gonna put my pipettes in it. It's me and y'all know it's me. Stop playing with yourself. Get out. This is so cute though. Like it could really go in my fucking living room. And I'm getting this little area together. This is gonna be the popper. You know, I got my red bottoms up here. My Art of Seduction book. We'll have there. My elephant. And then a candle. The candle there at the top, just like that. Nice and simple. Probably grab a couple more candles to put here. Let's go get a new tip box. I'm going to make some notes. Okay, so in my notes, I put gold spray paint because I need to finish painting that dresser there. I put two gold organizers. I actually only need one. So let me just put one because I got that one. Big and little towels, small candles and big candles. I'm actually just going to grab two of the big ones and some um, five candles for my thing in there. I don't really know how big my towel warmer is. So I have to figure out because I don't want this. Well, I could put these up there actually. And I actually think I'm going to use my gold tablecloth to put over that rail. So I don't necessarily want it just all out like that. But it's all coming together. I'm gonna let my camera charge a little bit because it's gonna die here soon. And then I'm going to come back with y'all when I got everything kind of situated. Right now I'm headed to go and get some stuff for my massage bathroom. Sorry, I had to think. I don't know what, think about what I was gonna say. It's mainly gonna be men. So I'm getting a lot of men's stuff, like men's soap, men's deodorant, towels their own loofah sponges to wash themselves off because some people like to take a shower after a massage so they can get the oil off of them and just the whole nine the whole shebang so i have my notes here so i want to talk to y'all a little bit about my massage business you know i know some girls you know hey honey that we have a little things to say about how I get my money and things like that. And I just want you to know that I, Malaysia, do not care, okay? I don't. Because you're not paying my bills with that negativity. And you really just jealous that you, you ain't got it like I do. 
Everybody knows I used to be a sugar baby, all right? Everybody knows I'm a sugar baby. Everybody knows I'm all about a man, you know, breaking some bread with me. So when y'all go into all that extra stuff, it's like, Miss Ma'am, what, what is you saying that we all don't know? You, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what's, I'm at a different level now because I got a $40,000 allowance. So of course I'm a lot, uh, you know, higher up there than a couple of the, you know, scallywags that are that are speaking negatively, negativity onto me. So I'm on a different level of my massage business now than I used to be. You know, now I can actually just do massages. I don't necessarily have to like go on dates. I don't have to look for sugar daddies. Right now it's all about making profit. That's why I'm focusing on my massage business because doing massage, massages makes me the most money. I'm moving here in August. I was going to move to Miami, but my doctor did not okay me to move because I'm having surgery July 13th. I will leave there July 23rd and I will not be able to move right after that. My lease is up August, the, right, right at the beginning of August. So it won't be smart to be trying to lift stuff, moving around, and I can't depend on everybody to do everything for me. So I have to wait to move till later on. I'm going to get an office space in downtown Dallas, and that's where I'll be doing my massages. I'll have four massage tables, one for me. I'll be hiring three girls two pedicure stations, one hookah station, well, one hookah lounge area, an open bar, and then I'm going to have a stripper pole that's going to be platformed onto a light, it's gonna be on a light up platform. I'll be having, um, well, three, mas three masseuses I'll be hiring, one lady for the pedicures, I'll be hiring maybe a couple dancers that I want to come, but they're gonna be fully clothed know what is gonna be you know, actually stripping but I do want strippers to um, for them to come you know bring your clients tell them to come here this is where you can come during the day and dance or whatever like you don't necessarily have to even get naked you can still give dances without having to get naked and entertain people I have the hookah area I just pulled up to this store so that's why I had to put that up but I'm gonna have the hookah area they can hang out there get drinks you know, massages, pedicures. It's gonna be a nice little hangout spot for men. Very upscale, very classy. So that's why I am converting my bedroom into a massage area because I'm going to go ahead and start kickstarting up my clientele. That way when I do open my area, I will um, already have clientele coming through and um, you know, the more the merrier. I just, don't judge, you know, don't judge. It's not cool, but at the end of the day, I don't care who's judging me because, I mean, we do, I don't know you, okay? I don't know you, you don't know me, and personally, if you met me, you would like me. So keep the negativity to a minimum. Like, it's unnecessary to be negative all the time or to always have something negative to say about something, something that someone is doing, you know? So I want this to be a positive space positivity is all I want to be on my channel and to resonate through me will resonate through me sorry so yes honey positive energy positive energy I got some stuff in the mail for my massage business so I got Earthlight, world's number one brand in massage. And this is more than likely my yeah, the face covers. I'm not sure we're gonna see in a minute. And then I got some probiotics for my dog, some probiotic bites. I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this and give them all one. Cause core, <laughs> core elements, gut heal, so. Let's see if my dogs like them, honey. So I'm gonna give my dogs one each. Camila, treat. Omar, treat. Tyra, 
So let's see if Mara eats it. Amara's very picky with her food. I hope she does. So we do this up here. All right, bye, babies. Go. Yay, she ate. Oh, wait. She's picking on it. Amara's very, very picky. Okay, she's eating some of it. She took a little nibble. She took a big nibble. She ate the whole thing. Yay, Amara approved. So Omara approves of the probiotic bites, probiotic bites. And then I got some lights for my walls in there. And then I got some mat covers. So we're gonna go ahead and go in there and set all this up so that, that way I don't have to do it later. And I am already taking appointments, so I want my space to be ready. So let's go in there, honey. I put my oil warmer my tip jar i decided to go ahead and make out of my handbag so tips in there and then i also bought these here this is tea tree oil that you rub on the side of their temples for relaxation and then you can either sniff in these relaxing drops or put it like um right underneath their nose so they can breathe it in while they are relaxing and getting a massage so i'll be using that as well and then for my oil, I put essential oils in there. And down here, I have that for visuals and I will be using my blind and my little whip. And then over here, I have some fragrance, disinfectant spray, hand sanitizer, and this cool little light, which I'm gonna be using for this here, which is a UV ray light that removes bacteria. And then I have my um, pipettes that I'll be using to get the oil out of the oil warmer and putting it onto their body. And then of course over here is my little office space. And then this is just a nice little lounge area to sit. And then I went ahead and set that up yesterday as y'all know, and I covered it with my gold. Um, it's a gold background that I used to have, but I made it into a tablecloth. And I just think, think it gives it more of a fancy feel rather than just looking like it's a shelf right there you know and then of course the trash can because you know we gotta throw stuff in the trash and my towel warmer that i ordered off amazon is gonna go right here and these are the towels that i bought that are gonna go inside of them and then i also bought these black towels for them that way they can have their own towels that i will be washing and you know whatever and i have a facial steamer but it's not here yet it's gonna go on this chair here and it's going to be facing towards them that way the the steam is you know on their body so i'm going to go ahead and see what all this is about i have napkins in here also because of course um my restroom is going to be really nice um it's just not nice right now i bought this white rain for men's body wash that way if they want to wash off in the shower i recommend getting body wash rather than bars of soap because not a lot of people want to use the same bar of soap that someone else used so get a body wash liquid that way everyone can use it and then i also from the dollar tree got these men's wipes that way you know they can wipe themselves i was going to get some decorations for the restroom but for right now i'm just going to leave it nice and simple and plain all decorated here later on in the future but i don't want to decorate it right now and let's get into these so this is earth light these are for the headrest that way everyone gets a clean headrest Duh. so this goes here and i have these here that i ordered they are for the bed so i don't really know how many comes in it it's a 20 piece set so this is good for 20 people which is great it's good enough for me and i'll put these in my inventory closet too and my table i already disinfected it last night no one's been on it i don't necessarily need to wipe it again Nice little 
window clean area. These are their towels that'll go in there. Now I'm gonna set up these lights here. So I had some like this not too long ago, but I broke them. I don't know how I broke them. I moved them to my living room and it just it messed up. Twinkling, it still is nice, so I like it. I like it, like it, like it. And I got another box. I'm trying to think if I should scoot it over and go ahead and fill the entire wall. Or what's popping, lock and drop it, honey. So I'm checking in with y'all. I just got some stuff in the mail for my massage business. So I got this feather. not what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a long feather, but it's feathers. It's not what I wanted. I thought it was going to be a, a nice long feather with a, a paddle at the end. So they use feathers and massage sometimes to stroke across your skin and give you more of a caressing session. So, I may just like super glue them all together like this and make one big old feather and buy like a piece of wood or something to attach it to. Like I may just do it like that. And then I got this for my gimbal that I'm shooting on right now. My fuzzy ball with my microphone and my light. And I got my pen for editing. I got an extra battery pack. And I bought this. It hooks around my gimbal. And then I can attach these to it. This is my new gimbal. It's the newest one out. I really like it because it is magnetic. So this has got to go on here, like, okay, so it does go on here, just like that. Cool, right? And honey, we, we in this thing, below then. Do you motherfucking hear me? I know that's right. Mm -hmm. And never, ever wrong. Testing, testing, honey. I know that's right. I like this. I like this. Ah, eh, hot tech was happening. I can drop it. Let me, let me show y'all what it looked like in the in the can and the in the mirror. So this is how we looking in the mirror. This is how we look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't play with me. Towel warmer in the mail. That's what we got in here, honey. Oh, it's big. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Come with your spatulas. Cool, cool. I need the cord to go this way because that's where the plug is at. So if it's on there pretty good, it's like not a perfect fit, but that's okay. I don't need it to fit exactly perfectly on there. Oh no. I'm gonna get these 
towels and put them in her in there. Hot towel, warm towel. All right, so I want y'all to know that this does work. The towels are super warm. It's only been on for about like 10 minutes and the towels are already warm. Of course, it's not all the way warm, but they are warm already. So I definitely recommend this if you want to get one. So yeah, love it. All right, honey. So I'm finishing up some book orders right now. You know, I got three books out. If you're interested on how I leveled up and how I blew up, don't forget to check out my three books. This Sugar Baby Guide has five websites in it that I personally use to get where I am now. This book is $35. I have my 10 steps book here. Oh wait, honey, hold on. My 10 steps book is for $30. This is a good Sugar Baby etiquette book. And then I also have my 23 steps to establishing a successful business. This has everything that I've learned from having my business and all the things that you should do in order for things to go successfully, to make profit. And of course, on the back is all of my, the back of the book has all of my, my best days, my, you know, all that good stuff, my monthly revenue, how many people, etc. So yeah, go check that out. And they be trying to kiss me. And this is the finished product. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.